All right, welcome back. Today we're going to do a tutorial on creating realistic planes. And we're going to start by doing the wings first, and then we'll start creating the body. But this part is part one, and we're just going to do the wings and maybe develop the body just a little bit. Let's get started. All right, so this first tutorial we're going to get in this plane that I have been working on for the past few weeks. And I'm going to show you something that's kind of neat. Oh, look at me. I jumped in. All right, so we're going to take it up into the air. One second. Okay. I think I just dropped a bomb because I always forget that I remap those. But okay, let's take it up. Okay, and the point is to show you that if we turn off the lights, pull back, and just look at the uh, silhouette we can almost tell what this plane is trying to be. So if you play any type of flight simulators, you will probably guess that this is the IL-2 Stormovic. And a big part of that guessing what this plane is, is having the wings be as close to the right shape as possible. So what I'm going to show you is how I make my wings and the process I go through to get the planes to look as realistically as possible and to scale within a very blocky world where you have to use your imagination to make some things come together. All right, let's go. All right, we're back in the hangar. So what we're going to do is go ahead and put this plane away. And we're going to clear this out. Clear. And we're going to go and find a plane to build. So first off, I'm going to show you the Patreon page. Hold on one second. All right, so here's my Patreon page. And if you go to Patreon slash Endoskull, you'll get here and you can hit a follow button right here and you can see all the things I'm working on or you can actually, the best part, is vote on polls or suggest planes that I should do next. So for this poll, um, I actually voted on it myself, but people I know are interested in me building a 163 Comet. So what happens is when I usually get a request or I find a plane that I want to do, I'll do a search on the plane. So what I'm looking for right off the bat is a picture of the plane from the top down. So I go ahead and I'll hit top and look for a top down plane. So nine times out of 10, if I go to Wikipedia, like over here on this tab, they'll have an image like this. So if, usually if you scroll down to any plane on Wikipedia, you'll find them on the right side. So I can use this one if I want, or I could search for another one. Like for example, we have this black one right here. We have this gray one. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and try to use the one from Wikipedia and let's see what that is. That is, if we put it down, is a 163B. So I guess I'll start by making the 163B. I don't know what the difference of the planes are yet, but this is just a tutorial. So I'm just going to start this off by picking this image and starting to make the plane. Oh, and we have to, uh, what is this? We need to attribute uh, the author. So this was done by Cabaldi. Well, there you go. So done with that. <laughs> now we know that the image is by Cabaldi. And we're going to go ahead and use it, but we're not actually going to use it in the game. So I think that's OK. Oh, looks like I have one open already that I was looking at. Uh, this is another B. But uh, I think we're going to go ahead and go with this image, because that's what I usually use. So let's go ahead and load it. Okay, paste it in. And you can use GIMP. I'll put a link in the description to the GIMP editing program. Works basically the same way as Photoshop. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and crop this image to where we want to use um, as a template, basically, for making the wings and kind of the shape of the body initially. Uh, you can see this is a front, and we have a top uh, view on the left and a side view on the top. But we don't care about that. What we only care about right now is the top view and how big it is and the wingspan. So what I do is I'll go ahead and use my lasso and then I delete the part I, I need because usually I can never just select the parts I want right off the bat. So I screwed that one up a little bit. So I can hit plus and get the little propeller back. There we go. And then I just want to delete some of this bottom wing edge here. All right, so now I have my plane within the lasso. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a new document copy, new document, open this up, clipboard, 
paste. All right, so the next step is finding out how big the wingspan is. Okay, the wingspan is everything initially when you're building the planes. All right, so I'm back at the Wikipedia page, and usually whenever you look up a plane on Wikipedia, you can scroll down to where it says specifications, and they will usually pick at least one plane where they give you a rough uh, description of everything. Um, sometimes it's just generic. It doesn't actually say like the B mode or, or the B version. So this one's the B version. That's the picture we're using. So we're going to go ahead and look at the wingspan. It is 9.3 meters. All right, so once we have the wingspan, we times the 9.3 meters, or the 9.3, by 4. 4 is the number of blocks in the game that equals 1 meter. So we know that our plane is going to be 37.2 uh, pixels wide or blocks wide in the game. But we don't have a point 0.2 in the game, so what we do is we just round to 37. Of course, you'll probably end up adding a block or two to the edges for artistic reasons, but for now, we're just going to go with the 37 uh, as a resolution. So we come back to Photoshop, and now we want to size our picture down to 37. But first, we're going to prep it a little bit by adjusting the colors. So. You don't have to do this on every plane, but for this image, since it's a really uh, fine lines, we're going to make it a little bit darker here. I'm using the um, curves, so I made it thicker and darker. And then I'm going to go ahead and resize it using image size, and you can do this in your uh, image program. You want to put the height to 37 pixels. Oh, we want to lock that. So we want 37 pixels, and we want to size down the width as well. And we'll hit OK. So now it's super tiny. So right now you're seeing kind of the outline of the plane and how it's going to look in Stormworks, at least block size. But it's a little bit hard to see. So we're going to come over here and maybe use a brightness contrast and see if we can make it darker. Um, there we go. Okay, so I put the brightness down, put the contrast, negative and now we can see the blocks really well so okay so once i have this open i will usually put this on my second screen <laughs> if you don't have a second screen you'll probably have to tap in and tap out but we go back to stormworks and now we have our um, example of what we want to build with pixels so let me put this back on the screen real quick so the easy way to do it was we're going to use a lasso and just see how many blocks wide it is and so it's 24 and uh, it's pretty skinny. It's only uh, five blocks <laughs> tall. So of course we're probably going to have to tweak our build to fit it. But for right now, let's get the wings. So 24 wide. So we can just quickly go over here and do one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. And then it's got an extra pixel from the middle, so it's actually 25. But I like my uh, numbers not to be even. It's better when you're building um, sides to it. All right, so that's, once we have that, we're going to go ahead and look at this again. And we're going to put symmetry on right now. But these wings are going to turn out to be about six, oh, 22 high. Oops, wrong one. I grabbed the wrong one. Uh, sorry, 16 high, and then we want the body to be roughly um, 5. Hmm, that's going to be a really tight little plane, but we'll just do it for fun. Okay, let me put the symmetry on. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is a skinny plane. I don't even know if the seat's going to fit in this thing as it is. We're probably going to have to get more creative later on when we build the rest of the body. But for today, we're just going to get these wings. Okay, so that's not bad. It actually has enough room if we wanted to build the walls. It's just going to have a really tight cockpit. So we can drop this uh, cockpit or the seat down later on when we're building the rest of the body. But for now, let's just build the wings. Okay, so I'm going to put the image on my other screen so I can see it. But what I'm basically doing, I'm going to put this back on the screen here. Oops, I went in there. What I'm basically doing, let me put the fit on screen. Okay, so what I'm basically doing is I'm just going to count these blocks 
and then start my wing. And I'm going to follow these blocks. One, one, two, one, two, and so on. And I'm just going to build out my wing, and then the other side will build out by itself with symmetry. So we'll have the shape of the wing and roughly the shape of the plane. So let's do that. All right, I'll put on my other screen, come over here, and just start building based on that picture. So I've got three blocks crossed, and then three blocks again, and then this four is that, that's right. Okay, and then it comes in by four. One, I'm just gonna actually put blocks. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then there's a block here, and then there's two. I go two, and then I'm looking at my picture again, and I'm doing one, two again, and then it looks like it has. Let's see, on um, this one it has like, something sticking out, which is, I think is a gun, but we don't want to see that right now. So I'm gonna look at the other side real quick and use the reference. One, two, one, two. Okay, so the other side is doing another two, which is fine, and then doing another two, and another two, and another two. I think I've got all the twos, and there's a one. So if I look at this, it's one, yes, two, 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 uh, two, two, one. Okay, so that should be right. So on my screen, if I look at it, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six wide. So let's go back to here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's six, right? I'm getting tired, so I might be making mistakes. Okay, so six wide. And then what is the rest of the plane? Let's see. We've got four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's four, six, six. And then we have this little part here. So go back to Stormworks, and we'll go four, and then is it in or out? I was I was paying attention. It's in. Okay. Four and then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm gonna come in in here and one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, that's it. So that's the wings. So you can see the wings here. And if I come here, you can see the wings here. And that is the wings. All right, so then we got a, basically looking at the bottom part, we got three and then four for the tail area. So we'll go ahead and do three. One, two, three. Three, and then four for the area. Okay. So now we have our wing. We can go ahead and fill it in right now if we want until we get an idea of where this wing should be placed on the side of the plane. So I'm probably going to go look at the picture again. And what I'll do to smooth out the wing a little bit is I will use the corner blocks. And that just gives a less blocky appearance. Sometimes you have to be creative with these in order to get them not to be too much of a like a jaggedy. I don't know, it's very odd, but you'll see what I mean. So we can probably put this one right there. I don't know what the wing looks like yet, but we're gonna go with that. Okay, so let's look at our picture of the plane. Um I do have it here, right? Oh, where's my window? Alright, so here's my window. So that wing is right there. So we look at this. This is where we start getting artsy. We could go ahead if we wanted to, and we could try to shrink this down by grabbing this and doing the pixels and saying, oh, it's this tall. Um, and that's fine. We can do that if we want. So let's just do it just to see what happens. Sometimes it backfires, and you run out of a lot of space by doing it this way. But for the sake of it, we'll give it a try. And do a paste. And do our image size. Well, let's go ahead and do it contrasty. Oh, wait. First we do curves. Make it big. Oops. Make it big. Alright, okay. Then we do the image size and we want the width again to be 37. Wait, no. That's incorrect. I am wrong. What is the width of this plane? Or the length of this plane? Let's go back here to this 
it is length of 5.7. So again, I'm going to go ahead and put it in times 4 equals 22.8. So it's basically 23. So we'll go ahead and come back to Photoshop. And we will put 23 as the width right here. Hit OK. And then that is really tiny. So this is where it starts falling apart. But what it does do is give us an idea if we do the curves brightness. If we put this down, it gives us an idea of how big our tail is. So this is like four pixels tall right here. That's probably not going to work for our plane and then the front because of the way it resizes. So this is not a good reference. That's why I usually just look at it and do it by eye. But my most important thing again is the wingspan and the wings. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just look at the picture, look at the wings. They're basically in the center. Come back to Stormworks. We're probably going to have to move this plane. I mean the seat. <laughs> move the seat. And I don't know where this goes right now. Where does it go? Mm, way in the front. So, you know, as a reference, we can put it there for right now. It will probably be... Um, oops, I froze. It will probably probably be lower, um, depending on what happens, or front or more back. So okay, so we know that the the um, body of the I'm sorry, we know that the wing is roughly in the center of the plane. So we can go ahead and start building our Korea body. Okay, we can see that. It looks like, looking at these pictures, we got a little bit of thickness here. So we could probably do a two level wing. And what that means is I'll come in and smooth out the wing a little bit more by coming back and using triangles on the top layer. So it's still going to be roughly, you know, roughly a flat wing. We won't, we won't want more than a few of these. And we'll just go ahead and add some blocks. And what we'll probably end up doing in the end is adding, um, what do you call it, aerodynamic surfaces. And that will give us some lift because sometimes these little guys don't like to fly. And especially this little rocket thing. So I don't know what's going to happen here. So we will find out. Okay, so we're going to replace these smooth it out with our half pyramid thing about cheeks and go like this and this this and this okay so we're off to a good start and again I will rebuild and build the wing over and over again until it looks right so sometimes this will work sometimes I have to do um, a lot of changes to it and then sometimes I don't have to do anything at all. It just turns out right. But for the most part, it does not turn out right. So we have to we have to baby the wing. So right now we're just gonna get this done. Okay, not bad. This wing doesn't look right to me. It looks okay, I guess. This looks a little off right here. This edge. So if I look at my picture, there's the, the pixelated version. But this wing looks a lot longer, doesn't it? And that's what the problem I have with Stormworks. It always looks like these wingspans are really large, but it turns out when you translate to pixels and width and height and the math for the wingspan based on the specs, it never translates correctly. It never translates correctly, so I have to do a lot of uh, tweaking. All right, so you know what? I don't really like this. So I'm going to go ahead and start building inside just to see. And again, when I build, I do a lot of rough drafts. So what I do is I'll build it, and then I'll start looking at it and deciding what looks good, what looks bad, and I will build it over and over again until I get the right look. So right now I'm going forward. Probably shouldn't do that because I'm going to mess up my length. So I'm going to dial this back a little bit and maybe start adding the pointy part. 
again, we have tools, uh, selection tools, and all that good stuff that we can go and we can cut and paste parts and see what looks good or move things around. So nothing at this point is solid. You don't have any logic in this plane, so you don't have to worry about moving things. So once you start adding logic, that's when your plane gets messy. So do not add logic until you get your plane shape-wise really set in stone. So there we go. And I'm just again roughly building the front end until I get the look. I need to go look at that reference picture again just to see how pointy this thing is. So pretty pointy, pretty round tip. Um, okay, looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and get to the sides, get to the bottom. All I'm doing is shaping the nose. And there we go. And this again, I can add a little bit more. I don't know what that was, but not the right block. So we're adding more. We're getting a nice pointy front end. Actually, more pointed than I thought I was going to get. I have not made such a small craft yet. Okay, let's, let's do gray. I kind of like gray better. I think it the lighting. It's just slightly better. Okay. So I can see a little bit better. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do this one. Okay. Nice, nice. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Okay. All right. So, again, rough draft. We're just going to do this just for the sake of, like, sculpting the plane. Nothing is set in stone. If we don't like it, we don't keep it, we change it. We delete blocks, we delete sections. It does not matter. This is simply sketching the plane in blocks, keeping the wings as a reference, keeping the pictures in the body um, roughly the same size as it should be. Again, look at this, the seat is huge. Um, so if we go back here, you see that that, that uh, front end is there. There's a canopy right here, and the seat is probably sitting right here in the middle of this. So if we look at our tip, it's almost, you know, it's already there, kind of. So let's go ahead and see if we can knock this down a little bit. How far can I knock this? Okay, that's our bottom floor. So I think, looking at this, and sometimes what I do is I will go ahead and um, paint this just to give me an idea, oops, not additive, an idea of how far back I am on the, the look of the plane. So have I made this tall enough? Have I made this wide enough? Okay, let's see. Pretty straight right now, pretty straight here. We really have this back arch here going on. And then we have whatever width this is going on, and then the bottom where this slit, uh, slit is. And then this wing comes in here, and the canopy goes. Look at that canopy. The canopy is on the wing, almost like the leading edge of the wing, and then in the front. So right there, see that? Now if you look at our pixelated image, you can kind of guess, it's hard to see, that this is probably the canopy here, and that it goes back three or four blocks. And then our canopy is probably right here, five blocks. So if you look at Star Wars, let's see. We've got three blocks. One, two, three. There we go. And then we have our seat that we could put here. Maybe right there. I don't know. Um, I kind of want a little bit room in front just for buttons. So we'll put this here and pretend like we didn't look at the other thing. Okay, so windows. This is kind of my favorite window right now. It uh, it usually works pretty well. So we can do it short ways. Okay, we're going to cheat because I can't, can't get it out there. So we'll just do this. I'll put this block here. And that's going to give us our edge to put the canopy on. If I can just do it the right way. Okay. So there's that. So if I do it right here on this edge, 
which is not correct because the canopy is actually inside. We're going to get kind of a wide canopy. Okay, we don't want to do that. So let's see if we can get the canopy in the middle. Oops, that's fine. I'm fighting with it a little bit. Okay, so let's do this. I don't think I'll be able to get it as tight as I want, but we'll try. Let's see. I can just get that. Okay, there we go. So see, my block is a problem. Now if I come way forward, I can get that, but then, hmm, okay, so here's where we get run into, like, creative problems. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this seat back. So what I'm doing by doing this is I'm going to push the seat back. Oops. It's going to allow me to put the canopy where I want it, but then in order to get the canopy, or, I'm sorry, the cockpit windows, I'm going to have to do it on the outside block. So, watch this. If this works right. Okay, so we want it on the edge. Need more blocks. Okay. Alright, so tight canopy, right? Look at that. We have no room. So I'll put that to rest. Come over here, delete these. Put my sharp blocks back. Okay, and then we're going to find our seat, or not. Where's our seat? Put our seat in, and try our best to move it forward without breaking the plane. Oops, there we go. Let's try this one more time. Okay, so if I go forward, I can get it right there. Okay, so right now, like this, I'm only going to get like one button in this plane. So I'm going to pull it back quite a bit. Okay, so this is going to be odd canopy. But what this does is it gives me an area to put my buttons on there. So I can get three buttons on here right now. Then we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, delete those blocks. And we're going to go for our windows. Now here's again we're getting creative, right? We could we could put a big window here. Okay. Alright, so let's look at our picture again. Okay, so right now we have side windows. Now that looks really off from like the actual plane. We don't want this. At least I oops. At least I don't want this. What I want is I want to get as close as I can creatively to this window. So we got the canopy, oops, we got the canopy, and we have a little window on the side. And you can see from the top, then the back comes in and it comes down. So how do we do that? I don't know. That's the, that's the hard part of all this. So I'm going to go ahead and start building my canopy out to see where my seat becomes a problem. All right, so I'm building the canopy out right now. So let's see what we can get it with. Actually, I probably don't want that because if you look at our image, it's glass on top. But for the sake of just figuring out where we want this thing to, oh, look at that. Okay, now I'm getting lucky because usually the seat is not low enough when I build these. But we are getting lucky, and so we are gonna be happy and go with this. Um, so I'm just gonna build or sketch. Let's say that we're sketching. We're not doing anything solid right now. It's just to get an idea. So. We know that there's a window here that comes up. Can't put it on the inside. So now I have it on the outside. Okay, so we can do this. Oh, we can actually do this, which is kind of clever. And get that side going on. All right, and again, sketching, sketching. We're gonna have to delete a lot of these extra blocks we're putting in. It's just to see what we're doing. This is a piece of paper, and we are just drawing our outline. Okay. So, again, deleting. We'll try something. It won't work. We'll try it again. It's not a big deal. Don't get uh, too stuck on how it looks initially, because you can always figure out some way to tweak the blocks to fit. 
Okay, so I'm getting a little wide here. If we look at the, from the side, I'm getting really wide here. So we want to keep this tight. So I think I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know, let's see, can we take this out? And then since we're doing this now, we can actually come back in here in the back seat and we can build it inside, okay? So now we've got this uh, back seat. Okay, I don't like that. Okay, uh, let's try this here. There we go. I don't know about that yet, so we're just gonna let this get tweaked and see where it goes. Okay, so we know there's a side window here, side window. Then uh, there is a spot here where we should have a triangle window. Now I don't know if this will fit, but we'll check it out. These never work for me properly. They're at an angle and they're a little bit weird. So if we look at this, yeah, see, I don't see this working really well. Okay, so we're going to ignore that. Our next plan is to see the narrow window and maybe the small angle window. Again, this is just like a little bit of trial and error just to see what we can do. Let's look at the picture again. Little tiny window, okay? Little tiny window. Still not crazy about these blocks here. These kind of bug me, but I can't, oops, I can't put them any deeper because of the seat, so we're not going to do that. What we might have to do is kind of friendly this out a little bit so that we get a block. This is a challenging plan. I actually picked a very challenging plan to do this example with because it's so tiny. So you're building a lot, or you're required to build a lot of detail with a lot less blocks than I would have on a bigger plane. The bigger the plane, the more detail you can put on it. So now we have to fight basically with every block that we put on here. We are trying to get a look and feel of a plane that wants to have a lot of detail and we only have a little detail. Okay. So, if that makes any sense, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> but you'll get the idea. Okay, I'm pretty much thinking that this is wrong and that I'm going to have to um, build out my um, tail a lot longer than this. But, again, sketching. So, looking at it this way. Okay, let's look at this way. That it comes down and that tail goes up pretty quick. Now, something I'm not thinking about yet, but I should be, is how do I get my jet engine in this thing? So, we know from our pixelated image that it was like three blocks. To me, this looks about like one, two, three, like four, four and a half blocks. So we can probably get away with four like this. Uh, this is a tough one to make. We surely picked a tough plane. Okay, I'm actually I'm gonna do a little bit higher. So one to two and two. That should give me a nice edge, I think. And then we can even bring this one out and make it play like that. Okay. Again, nothing set in stone. Come back, tweak it till we like it. I'm not crazy about this yet. Mm, okay, let's look at the thing. Tail we have, and then we have kind of this rocket area that, like, is probably where somehow, and I do say somehow, we need to get our rocket in here. And I I don't don't even know if we can get in this rocket slightly, but we will try. So I may have to experiment with the engine before I finish with the body, because I may have to tweak the body to fit the engine, if that makes any sense. But again, I'm doing it artistically, not to the specification that the plane actually was, because 
usually can never do that in Stormworks. Unless you can resize blocks, resize slopes, you're not going to get it as close as you'd like. So you have to cheat. Okay, so that's not bad. Um, still not in love with it. Still don't think that it's to the, the shape of this plane. Okay, we got this rock in the area. And that's fine. But then, if we look at it, oops, if we look at it again, we have a bottom part. And that bottom part, okay, look at that. It comes in and squares off. So if we look at our plane, we want, we pretty much want, maybe right here, um, I can't put a block for some reason. Huh. Maybe I broke something when I was tapping and tapping out. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So let's let's actually look at the image again now. I forgot. So it comes in right where the cockpit lock in. So if you look at this, cockpit lock in would probably be around about right here. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make this long. And maybe nose out with or make this smoother with our blocks. Did I put that the right way? I did put that the right way. Okay. Then use our angles. And we we're not even we're not even looking at the problems we're gonna have with this plane because it requires a sled. So all of this we're doing just for our wing to work. Right? So everything is serving the wing right now. And then we'll serve the design of the plane once we get a little bit farther. Okay, so judging by this, I may have to pop out my my size a little bit. But okay, let's let's just see. And you know what? I don't remember how to build a jet engine, so bear with me while I play with this. Because actually this is a rocket plane. So can this work? Okay, so the intake's right behind your seat. I don't know if that's safe, but we're gonna do that. Okay, I think it was compressor? Combustion chamber. Check compressor? Ooh, turbine. Okay, so the turbine was the electricity part, right? Okay, there's the thrust. Okay. So what can we get away with in this thing? Can we get away with... Okay, I'm just going to do it until we have room. Okay, so we have the combustion chamber, right, jet compressor, combustion chamber. I think that's next, right? Oh boy, this is going to be tough. All right. Come on, oh my gosh, I'm not even thinking about a fuel tank right now. So this is going to be challenging. That's why they wanted me to build this plane, because they knew it was going to be hard. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Where is, there, is this where the gas goes in? I don't remember. What is that? Um, can you just go somewhere so I can check? Thank you. What is that? Yeah, fuel port. Okay. So, bear with me again. I haven't played with the jets for a while. And we're just gonna... Is that the right thing? Okay, and did I put the jet engine gas down here? There it is. Okay, cool. So we have a combustion center. Okay, what we don't have is a generator for power. So, you know what? Let's look real quick at a description of this plane. Because I'm curious, how did it last? Like, what did it do? So, I'm going to read. So, please hold. The biggest concern about the design was a short flight time, which never met the projections. Okay, so did he actually ever say what flight time was? Okay, well, that being said, we may just have to um, go ahead and do what we can within the space that we have inside the plane. So, all right, let's get back to the plane. Okay, so we are not going to put a um, generator on this thing. We'll just go ahead and put the because right, that's what I'm missing, right? Oh, a turbine. 
small turbine. I mean, okay, let's just see how big it is, but I'm pretty sure. Basic gen exhaust. Okay, we're on basic gen exhaust. And I'm sorry if I'm starting to mumble here. I am getting sleepy. But I wanted to finish this. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so we did put a compressor on. I lied. Okay, and there's that. Cool. So what we can do now, if we want, is we can just kind of grab some of these bricks. Okay. That's not bad. Alright, so let's look at this. Let's look at our picture. Or even let's look at some real pictures. Because now we're getting into the, the uh, big time creative mode. Okay, so kind of get to look at the way it looks. It is a crazy little thing, that's for sure. So our plane doesn't seem, well, it kind of does actually. It does kind of go in and shrink down. Okay, so we could, like, how's that tail work? Tail goes straight down. So if we look at our tail, we could kind of, maybe, throw in a block here. And I don't have my rudder yet, but let's, let, let's put a rudder on. Um, go over here. Okay. Oh, is that the small one? It is a small one. Okay, so you already see what we're going to be up against right here. So basically, we have to get this rudder on, probably before we even start fighting with the engine, like that, and then fight with the look of the tail, oops, tail, maybe like this, oops, and right there. Let's see what we can do with the the edge. Okay. Okay. Kind of a big tail. This is very square tail. So let's square it off a little bit more. It's okay to delete and bring it back again. Okay, so maybe one block will be okay here. So it's square right there and comes down. Okay. So now we're looking at the side. And let's look at the bottom. Okay, so right now what I'm seeing is that this right here, maybe in this one, it's too deep for this. Okay, maybe halfway through. Whoops. Okay, let's look at this. So it's one, it's kind of a bubble. Oops. It's kind of a bubble here. And that really thins out. So if you look at this, and we want to duplicate this, I'm going to go ahead and um, bubble it. Maybe delete this guy right here. And then go ahead and make this my smooth edge. Come back here, get our pyramid, get our whatever this is. And there we go. And so now we have this. And then what we can do here, just to make it a little bit prettier, is bring this out by one, bring our uh, triangle. Boom. Okay, and then this lets you go ahead and do exactly what it looks like on the side here. And it'll match up. Okay, so I think we're almost going to stop here. And this is going to have to be multiple parts, and we'll just go through building the whole plane. But the important part of this tutorial was the wings. How do I do the wings? How do I set it up? And <laughs> that was actually the fastest part of the tutorial. So we already kind of got through that. Now all we have to do is get through. You know what? I think that's going to be upside down. Is it? Yes, it is. OK, so there we go. Do this. Do this. Uh, right here. And then right now we're just filling these blocks. But OK, so let's look in a minute. Oh, look at that. It actually wants one of these. So OK, let's do that. Or, you know what, let's even bring it back here. Right there. 
right there. I'm sorry, I'm talking low. It's really late at night, so I am talking low. Okay, so it's like this. Again, I'm going to do our triangle thingy. And I think we're going to put the little thing there. Okay, that is looking pretty good. So right now, this is our design. Not in love with everything right here. Like we've got the windows back here. We've got this thing that I don't know how it's going to open right now. We have no fuel tank, which we probably can put maybe not there. Nope. Okay, we've got a little bit of room here. Is that a little bit of room? That's a little bit of room. So we've got enough room to put a little bit of logic. Something tells me our microprocessors are going to come in real. Oh, there we go. Really handy right here. We have a wing. Uh, we may, for the sake of just having a little more room, we may have to, to hollow out this wing and put another level right here. Let me look at the picture again. Okay. Pretty smooth. Yeah, I don't know. That, that would make the wing a lot thicker if we do that. So, hmm. So, I don't know. And that nose, compared to this nose, really, 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 really tight. I, you know what? I'm, I'll tell you what, this might fix this right now. Just with one little thing here, which is the magnet. So put this here. Wait, let's put it yellow. Put this here. And then grab the paint. And just paint around this area here. Grab this color here. I don't want want all this. There we go. Look at this. Okay, so this is going to give us a better reference. Look at this. We now have a reference of the yellow tip, the little birdie tip. Looking at this little birdie tip. There's a gun in there actually. Um, and then we have this. And we could we could bring this window down if we wanted to. No, we could. We need to. We, what we could do is bring the window up, which might be what we need to do. So we would take this out. Yeah. We would put one of these here. We would then go back over here and grab a narrow window. And then swoop it on the side. It is now on this brick here. So we can do double. Then we could go ahead and, oops, don't want to delete that. I'll delete this. Put our smoother. Okay, right near the pyramid here. Okay, it's not bad. Go ahead and put our smoother. For lack of a better word. And I think that's it. I don't think we can get that any better. So we can't, can't get this any flatter because of the seat. But that gives us kind of our, our shape. It's very close. I mean, like I said, the smaller the object is, the less detail uh, you can put into it. And then it might, you know, if we want to just play around here and see what it looks like, we can quickly just throw a skid on here and see if this is going to work at all. Um, the skid's kind of likely depending on what I can do here. It's going to be in the front here. There's probably going to be a, a um, what you call it, a slider. And it's just going to have to slide right into there. So we do this. I don't know if this slide had thing, or if it had an edge on the back. All right. Well, I did have a little wheel back here, looks like. Um, we could probably use the tiny little itty bitty wheels, but it's double. So it's not really correct, but at some point in this game you just have to say, okay, that'll kind of work. And that kind of does work, okay? But it has to be at an angle, so we'll probably put a, what you call it, a rotor here. Which will probably break, but that, that gives us the idea. Okay, let's go ahead and do a screenshot. All right, so I went ahead and took a screenshot. So we're going to end the video right here today. And what we're going to do is a second tutorial where we, or may, I don't know how long it's going to be. It might be a second or a third. But we're going to go ahead and do a follow-up to this 
on finishing the plate. So right now we're still building the body, still figuring out where things are going to go and how it's going to work. But for right now, I just wanted to let you see how I build the wings, where I start with the plane, and hopefully this will help you. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're interested in this and seeing what happens with this plane, you can hit subscribe, hit the little bell when you see something going on. It will ding, ding, um, <laughs> ding, ding. And if you are interested in following with screenshots and updates of what I'm working on and maybe even seeing some behind the scenes, you'll want to go to the Patreon page, that's Patreon slash Endoskull, and you hit follow, or if you want to donate to uh, Patreon, that would be great. Uh, any money that we get for the, um, the Patreon will go into basically a fund, so that if I hit a thousand subs <laughs> before I turn 50, uh, we will go ahead and buy a copy of the game for someone who doesn't have it that's in the community here, and uh, keep doing that for now. Um, and really give back to you um, following me because it is awesome that you want to see what I build and that you're following me on the live streams. So uh, that's it. I just want to say thank you. Um, that's it for tonight. I'm going to go ahead and stop here with this tutorial and I will see you next time. Wow, that was kind of weird. But I'll see you next time.